Here we have a very old tavern table. 18th century. Underneath it's an old Victorian coal hog. HOD. And what's unusual about this, you can see it's trumpet turning. All four legs have these trumpet turnings, which was really a characteristic of the William and Mary period, which was about 17, uh, 1690s to 1720s. I'm not sure how old this is, but it's definitely, probably, if I would have guessed, 1740. But they retain that, that beautiful trumpet turnings. Get a little closer over here. <clears throat> Which is very typical of the William and Mary period. Its feet are long gone. They've all worn off. And of course the rail there, stretcher, is well worn. People put their feet on it. Is the drawer. Now originally this was made just with pegs. Now, I have on here a couple of old pewter plates and silverware, so to speak. Those are from the 18th century. But this is a uh, two board and it was made with just pegs, but it now sometime was repaired. As you could see, a peg and a rose head nail. There's another rose head nail. There's a peg and another nail. And what they did is a rose head nail and a peg. Somewhere along its life it needed repair, of course. So, rose head nails generally weren't used after 1790. And so this means that at some point before 1790, this was old enough that it needed to be repaired. So, it's a pretty old tavern table. I have my coat next to it there. Sorry for that, but if you look out here, you can see here in New England, we got lots of snow. And I mean lots of snow. Kind of nice, pretty. Christmassy. Christmas tree. <clears throat> and of course on this side, well-worn, another plate, pewter plate from the 18th century. And more repairs with rose head nails next to the pegs. Now the drawer does have some nails too, which it wouldn't have had originally. I don't think the knob is original, but the peg inside the knob, like in here, there's it's pegged, is square and has the same patina as the rest of the drawer, which is pretty, pretty old, black. You see some cracks and the pegs. Now these are pretty common. You can get tavern tables. Most of most of them are going to be later in the 17th, 18th century. And these were not only used in taverns, but they were used in the home. Nobody, I can't find out why they had drawers for a tavern, so I'm just guessing that's where you would put the plates and knives and forks. These were never kept in the middle <clears throat> of the tavern. They were always put up against the wall and dragged out. If you came in just for a drink of beer or rum, you pulled out a chair from the side of the from the side of the room on, against the wall, and you did not get a table. You sat with your friends, but if you came in for a meal, they dragged the table out, and that was the way it was in uh, dining rooms. That's why tilt and turn tables and tilt tables and gate leg tables were very popular of the day because people used rooms for multiple purposes, and they would drag the tables out during meals and put them back up against the wall after the meal along with the chairs. Of course around 1800 that began to change. 
I'll just go around this way. <clears throat> See if I can get another angle. I do, of course, not much light there. But I do really like uh, the trumpet turnings. And as you can see on the stretchers, that, that, that would normally be squared off. And of course, people just put their feet and uh, it would wear. So that's my sometime mid, maybe second quarter, 18th century tavern table. Could have been used as a tavern in a tavern or inn, or could have been used in the home or both. And the hole in the middle here, on the other side's where the butterfly joints were and they've fallen out. There's another hole there where another butterfly joint would have covered it up. That butterfly joint joined the two tops. Uh, I don't know how old those silver candlesticks are, but before 1900. They have no country of origin stamp. So another uh, fine antique that I own. I use this in my old home. Kind of as a dining table. It's kind of short. They were short anyhow. These, these tables were very, very short. Uh, but you can get up against it and eat. It's very stable. So thanks for watching.